What do you guys want to do with your life? When 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 you're at your funeral, what are you gonna what are people gonna say about you? What are they gonna talk about? Um, you know, we're all kind of reminiscing over what happened with you know the Kobe tragedy. And I didn't know really how to what if I was gonna talk about it or not. I wasn't I'm not a Lakers fan by any means. Uh, actually, I stopped watching basketball after Jordan quit. But that was the question that just kept ringing in my head is, you know, what are you going to do with your life? Like, what is it? What is going to be said at your funeral? Right. How many people are going to show up? Right. Are people going to be sad? Are they even going to think about it? You know, uh, I've heard it said by one of my favorite authors, Miles Monroe. He said that the greatest wealth is not, you know, in the Middle East, in the oil, in Africa with the diamonds. You know, it's your local graveyard, you know, the potential inside people. And I'm haunted by this thought that I'm not living up to my potential. So I leave you a quote just so you guys can think about it and uh, leave you with that question. You know, uh, what are you leaving on the table? You know, what are you running from? What what's what is that thing that was put inside you when God created you that you're supposed to be doing and you're not? You know, go out there and and go for it, guys. Don't live in fear. Fight back. Go after what you're made to do and go and achieve it.